Hey everyone, welcome back for a little TLC. Today we're going to be talking about burning sage or smudging is what it's called. Um, so I'll be honest with y'all, when I first heard about burning sage, I was like, what do you mean? Like the herb, we're cooking, like what's going on? But from what I can glean from Mr. Google, smudging is um, mainly known to be a Native American practice where folks burn sage in order to cleanse their homes and cleanse their own selves from any negative spirits, any negative vibes. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Should we be burning sage? Yeah, so I think that this question really boils down to in the name of whom are you burning this sage? Um, Sage is a plant and plants are given to us by God. They have medicinal purposes, uh, medicinal value. I tried to change my scenery around because I have an essential oil diffuser and I put all types of oils <laughs> in my diffuser because they, they make my house smell good, right? And they help with like antibacterial things. They help to keep you energized if it's like peppermint and stuff like that. Um, there are all types of benefits to using essential oils and making sure that we're eating lots of plants and lots of vegetables. And so I don't think it's the plant itself that is causing any harm or causing any type of confusion. Additionally, there was an entire altar of incense in the Bible. So in, I believe it's Exodus, we'll say, yeah, somewhere in the book of Exodus, it. Um, God lays out all of the requirements for the temple and there was an altar of incense which was supposed to be burning all day and all night as people went in, particularly the priests, to commune with God. And before they offered any sacrifices or anything like that, the incense needed to be burning. And so that's why I think that it boils down to in the name of whom are you burning this sage. If we say that we believe in Jesus Christ and we believe in God and that's who we're just having this additional this additional incense burning um, and it's in the name of God then I don't really see a problem with it. To me that's no different from me going through my house and anointing all of my rooms with with olive oil or for people who believe in prayer cloths um, that those can be anointed and you can have those and they give you additional power. I don't believe it's any different so long as we are doing that in the name of God. Um, yeah, I, that's, I mean, it's, that's really short and quick, but that's really what it boils down to for me in the name of whom are you burning these, burning this sage? Um, yeah, I do think that with anything, that I tell you anything that any minister or anyone tells you, make sure you're checking with, with God, with the Holy Spirit about what you should be doing. I was reading an article about smudging because I needed to familiarize myself with it. And they started off by saying, uh, <laughs> they started off by saying, well, there's no mention of smudging in the Bible. Um, and then it ended with smudging is a sin. And I'm like, but you just said that it wasn't in the Bible. So really go before the Lord. Yeah, just really go before the Lord. If you have some negative vibes, if you're burning this sage, then don't do it. There are so many ways that you can cleanse your house, whether that just be prayer. It can be going through with anointing oil like I like I tend to do. You don't have to do all of these things. You can really just pray to the Lord and say, God, please protect my home. Um, Lord, I feel some negative energy in this place. No negative spirits have room in my house. This is a place of peace and God protects me here. I, I make the Lord my dwelling place. So you can say a prayer. You don't have to be burning sage, but if that's something that you decide to do, make sure you're doing it in the name of God. I also don't think that just because something is a, a Native American practice or because it's not mentioned in the Bible automatically makes it a sin. Um, we have to remember that the Bible is, is written by, is written by men who had a certain agenda. Um, and so I wouldn't have expected for them to have a Native American practice outlined as something positive in the Bible, especially when from the time of colonization, so much effort has gone into destroying Native American culture and really any cultures that differ from those who put together the Bible. So 
that's a whole nother video for another day but yeah burning sage in the name of whom are you doing it that's really what i think it boils down to um so yeah that was pretty quick but let me know what y'all think is burning sage a sin can you do it so long as you are doing it in the name of Jesus? What are some other ways that you can cleanse evil spirits from your home without having to potentially dibble and dabble into something that might not be of God? I look forward to learning what you all think. Bye.